I'd like to get some uh, comments uh, going regarding the recent decision from the state of California regarding cease and desist for all consumer genomics uh, 13 different companies. Uh, while some of these companies may have been promoting uh, to consumers uh, DNA testing, which may not be uh, ideal by any means, uh, some of the companies that are particularly focusing on genome-wide scans such as 23andMe and Navigenics are affected by this uh, uh, recent uh, state government uh, uh, decision to uh, cease and desist. Uh, at the first uh, analysis of what's going on, uh, it appears that Navigenics is uh, uh, resisting this uh, process because of uh, their stated compliance with all aspects. Uh, which includes uh, they actually do have genetic counseling available and they have a CLIA certified lab and uh, the same is the case as far as the CLIA lab uh, for 23andMe. Uh, the requirements in California are quite stringent and this is the first state in the country to have issued uh, such an order. New York State interestingly has had a meeting with genetic uh, uh, companies uh, uh, consumer genomics companies, uh, but as far as I know, uh, they have not stopped uh, their their work. I believe actually that this uh, represents a significant uh, problem in that um, genome-wide scanning um, has gained uh, traction in the public, and it is something, of course, which is the right of the individual to pay uh, $985 or $2,500 to get uh, their um, uh, genome scanned and to get the results for them to work with. Uh, this, of course, uh, could be considered very premature, but it isn't qu uh, a question as to whether the genotyping is accurate. This is research-grade uh, ultra-high-throughput genotyping that's occurring at either Illumina or Affymetrix. I actually think that these companies, uh, in particular, as well as Decode Me, are making a significant contribution by uh, working with consumers who are interested in learning as much genomics as possible, given the uh, the early, uh, relatively nascent uh, state that we're in right now. But there are uh, there are considerable uh, SNPs that have uh, valuable uh, information, uh, particularly in the, in, in the individuals uh, who have the risk variants and for particular risk variants that are uh, important. So I would like to get the views of those who visit the Genome Medicine, Genomic Medicine website resource center uh, to see what you think about this California ruling. Is it appropriate? Is it uh, a harbinger of other states and perhaps even federal uh, trends to stop uh, the uh, consumer genomics uh, uh, movement. Is it different for genome-wide scans uh, as compared to specific genotypes? Uh, I'd be very interested in your views and look forward to seeing them uh, on the Genomic Medicine Resource Center. Thank you.